Indian Town. It's Tony Z here tonight with you. Um, I just want to share with you. Recently, I had an opportunity to meet with Anna Farias, and she's with the Red Pumpety Real Estate Company here in Indian Town, a local business person. And she was expressing some of her concerns about uh, matters of the community. So we sat down today and did a little video, and we're going to have that. You're going to see that here in just a second, okay? Um, be patient with her. She's a little shy. But before we get to that, Tam is going to be posting a link down below this where you can go to a survey and express your concerns about the agenda and the priorities of our community and where it should go. I ask you, please check into it, fill it up. We're going to make a difference in this community now. All right, here's Anna. I'm going to just let her speak. Anna, would you tell us, please, what are your concerns? My concerns are that um, although we just started um, possibly September 7th, we are going to be announcing or um, bringing aboard the new members okay. that we don't start or reinvent the wheel. Um, I, I think we there's a lot that needs to be done and the messages need to be made out a lot clearer. Um, what I mean by that is experience plus knowledge uh, equals confidence. And in order for me to have any confidence on anybody, I really need to build some trust on what they're rolling out is going to be done and it, we're gonna be an effective team. Okay, so let me, let me ask you, do you feel that you're being heard by your council? Well, um, I personally have not taken the advantage of the three minutes of public comment. Um, I feel that having an agenda laid out at times and in between that, you have the opportunity to speak or voice on what is being discussed. Um, yeah, they give you the three minutes, but do you actually get the attention of all the members while you're speaking? Okay. I mean, um, we are, most of us are professionals that take a lot of time for us to be there. And um, sometimes I see the behavior of professionalism is not being um, expressed while the meeting is being conducted. Okay. Um, it's important to understand what the community is asking, and um, we take the time to engage. And when, for example, coming up the budget meeting, how things are laid out, how are we allocating some of the funds that are definitely taxpayers. Okay. I mean, there, there's no question about it, whether it's a grant or not. So, based on the, your concerns you're expressing here, let me ask you this. Our population here in the town is nearly 70% Hispanic. Do, do you feel the need for a Spanish interpreter, a third-party Spanish interpreter? I believe it would be beneficial because a lot of voices are not being heard because of that. There is a language barrier, and... Um, there is a lot of information that impacts their lifestyle and they don't know about it and they can't raise any concern whatsoever because they they just simply don't understand okay so since they don't understand and they need somebody who does understand to speak to them would you will be willing to do a spanish interpretation after this budget meeting I would love to, especially if um, the information is um, presented um, where the general public can understand where they're going to allocate these funds, especially, you know, the progress on, on, on how our water is going to get better, um, the, 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 the progress with our parks and recs with the new director, um, how we're going to roll out possibly new programs. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I will definitely be there trying my best to take notes and not get sidetracked with other 
Um, are, there, are there any particular areas of um, allocation that you're concerned about? Yes, especially um, public works. When we are fixing all the roads that I have noticed, local park has gotten a tremendous, um, some areas improvements, but we, we can't stop just at local park. We, we need to lay it out throughout the whole village. And I know it takes time, but sometimes that's what we don't have because you know, you're at the seat now and for two years and maybe depending on your performance, you, you might stay for another two years. Okay. You might not be reelected. And we should not start the wheel because you got new new faces okay. in the team. We, we should continue for the positive of Indian Town, continue to move forward and not step back. So is there one area that you feel that we are not being heard, we the public uh, or the community of Indian Town are not being heard? Um, the, the hall, for example, I have heard a lot of um, comments, positive, negative, whether we need it, whether we don't. But, um, you know, in order for us to allocate, or actually, I, sh I should just directly say it, where are the data? Who's collecting what the public wants? Is it just public speaking comments? Or are or, or we actually going out there and listening? Not to a selected group, but listening as a whole. You know, we all can see we have parks. Are they being used? Who are they being used by? Are they being maintained? Who are they maintaining it by? You know, all these budgets, uh, they, I mean, the, the allocations are there. And sometimes money is not even used and All right. for programs and for maintenance. And um, we just don't need to be neglected because a new group is taking care of us. You know, Martin County neglected us. Now we are a village of our own. Let's not stay in the ne neglected side of, of things. All right. Well, thank you, Anna, for your time. Thank you for your concerns and speaking out. And uh, uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the near future. All right? Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Anna. It's always great when people want to give some input and be part of what's going on in their community. We commend you. Hey, if you'd like to be a guest on the Talking with Tony segments, drop us a line at editor at talkaboutmartin.com and let us know that you want to sit down with Tony and let your voice be heard too. We welcome it. Whether we agree with it or not, we're going to put it out there for you. So like us on Facebook. Be sure to share if you think there's somebody that needs to see it. And as always, join us at talkaboutmartin.com and hit the follow button. You'll be the first to know when things are posted. You'll get TAM alerts and all sorts of good stuff. We look forward to seeing you and thanks for being there.